Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from It's Me Again, Peter. Today we're going to prepare our server for Exchange installation. In the first video of this series, we're actually looking to how to prepare our Active Directory for Exchange installation. So this one is actually different because this is where we're actually going to install our uh, Exchange server. So we wanted to make sure that it's ready and ready to go for that uh, installation for Exchange. So let's get started without wasting your time uh, from the documentation that we are looking at here. This is what we use for the first one, which is the first video. If you haven't watched it, you can go to my previous video and check it out. So the second one, as we always do, we always follow the Microsoft documentation. Please, if you actually install an exchange in your environment, you want to follow this documentation. So I recommend you to read it. So right now we're going to get the net uh, framework 4.8 installed. So I click on it and so let's see what happened right here. In the previous video, I have an experience that this actually might take a little bit of time to install. So I might be fast forwarding this video for you. So when it's done, I'll be right back. All right, the installation is finished. Uh, Let's get down one. Okay, we're going to restore it. I shouldn't take that long for that to come back up. So if you're actually following this with me, you probably experience the same thing. So. Let's say it's coming back up. All right, so uh, let's log in as a lab admin right here. Please always make sure always make sure that when you're logging in, you are using actually your member server that actually have the admin right, also the schema admin, because because it's really important right here. So now we let's go back to our prerequisite sites that we're actually following in the okay this is the one that we're following on this one is body edge transport we're not there yet so we have to download this also okay make it as a default you might want to take a look into this but for me it's good i need a 64 bit version of this one I don't think this should take much of the time, so I'm going to let it run. Done. I go back again. I come back to the C++ again. Version 2013. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to just go with the English. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> wow, let's see once once again. Let's see once again. Yeah, it's the same. So we actually need it. It's going to let us know. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Let, let me do it again. Let me do it again. So because we don't want it to not do it again. This one, I'm going to open this one. You can see that this is 13. It's just an update. This is 12, update 4. So it should work the way we want it to work so anyway we can just take the 64-bit version in english and uh it looks like the same to me but let's go ahead and open it all right good 
So if you're actually following up with this one, uh, you might want to do it the same way I did it. So we're actually saying that, okay, let's say the next one. Okay, we just need to copy, go here, run as an admin. What I want is going, I just wanted to mention that this is very important and I don't want you to copy the server call unless you're actually on server core. I just wanted to copy the number three, uh, which is going to be the desktop experience. So it's a lot. Let me show you. It's not something that you want to type. See that? You don't want to type it. So we just want to copy it that way and said, okay, we don't need to restart. So we copy it here and that is going to install everything that we need to install the server. So it might take a while, a little bit. So once it's done, I'll be right back. All right, it looks like it's done right now. So we're good to go and um, we're good to go actually to install our server. So let's see if we are not missing anything. So let's see, okay. So yeah, I think I might be missing something right here. Okay, yes, this one. The Unified Communication Manage API for part one, I mean 4.0. So let's see, we click on that and uh, it's going to download. I think we missed that before. <laughs> We're supposed to actually install that before the event. I don't think it's, it has. I don't think we have any problem here. Well, all right. So I hope uh, I'm very glad that you're actually following this um, step by step. If you really like it, you like the video, and you can share with your friend, and you know, everybody learn. That's the advantage, that's the idea right here for every one of us to learn along. And um, most of the time when we when we install things like this, and normally ask us to restart our computer. So once we restart it, uh, we're going to, in the next video, we're going to actually install our Exchange server. So I see you there. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.